Uh, there are no must wins on April 21st, but the Yankees really needed this one with the disappointment of losing Aaron Judge, another guy on the IL. Then they have a 5 nothing lead behind a great performance by James Paxton. You had to come back and win it. Well, you really did. And uh, Austin Romine right in the middle of it. Uh, you know, he said it after the game, this whole next man up. We, we kind of make fun of it at this point, but they're buying into it, and they're not giving an inch. So a huge come from behind win. The Yankees have blown far too many leads this year that they've had. They really bailed out their bullpen, who has, who has struggled. And wh who would have thought that? That was the one strength that you thought you could count on. And, you know, they, they've had their problems so far. Now let's go back to Romine, because over the last couple of years, not only has he proven to be an adept backup to Gary Sanchez, and has played more than the Yankees would have wanted, but he's really clutch as well with runners in scoring position, David. He gets the job done. Yeah, he really does. And, you know, it's just about getting quality pitches to hit. You can see that all the Yankees up and down really controlled the strike zone very well today. And, you know, it's, it's the old cliche about, you know, take the walk when you have to, but get good pitches to hit and, uh, you know, not chase all those pitches out of the zone. The Royals tried to get that going today with a lot of pitches out of the zone. The Yankees did a good job of controlling the strike zone. Uh, let's double back to Paxton against the Red Sox, just overpowering 98-99. First inning, both Paxton and Romine saw right away he did not have that overpowering fastball. Not a bad one, but it wasn't overpowering. Plan B, right away. Yeah, I thought it was even more impressive to see Paxton back up the last overpowering start with this one. And Red Recognizing early, as Mike said, uh, it was a pitching mode from from the first inning on. You could see it and curveballs, cutters, sliders, uh, he really minimal fastballs the first couple of innings. And then when he did bring the fastball out, he got it in great spots above the zone, 96-ish. Certainly was a tick or two down velocity-wise, but he used it so effectively with all of his other pitches. Boy, he really showed me something today that he can take it to another level. So, nine-game homestand, six and three with all of the injuries. They're over 500 as well, and they head to the West Coast. That just made the flight a little bit shorter. Well, there's a lot to be said about that. You talk about uh, team morale or team chemistry, and those long flights after a tough loss, especially had the Yankees lost that particular game, it makes for a you know, demoralizing flight. Now, what does that mean in the long in the long run? Who knows? But you know that flight's going to feel a lot better. And, and you know who else is uh, feeling a lot better? You know, Adovino and some of your relievers and Paxton and all those guys that, that their effort would have been wasted had the Yankees not come back. You, you kind of give them a breather. You give them a mulligan, so to speak. So three out of four from the Royals, a big win on this Easter Sunday, Bob.